hey hello all welcome once again to my channel Sabor on this side and i have come back with another exciting tutorial on use case of aws lambda functions so currently what i you can see is i am going to talk about s3 event notification so in my use case what i'm going to demonstrate is uh, basically there would be a txt file or it can be a png or a pdf anything so currently in my case i'm going to use a txt file and put it in the s3 bucket and once that specific thing ha thing happens i will show you how an aws lambda function gets triggered so this is a cool feature uh, from the s3 service so basically it can be anything uh, for example you want to even uh, copy a file specific file here in the, in your bucket or even delete it so that would uh, trigger a lambda function so that could be easily configured s3 would the service would do what uh, whenever there would be a certain operations like put object or get object or anything like deletion of a specific object so it's going to generate an event json a payload and that would be sent to the lambda service if at all a fu specific function is configured with the bucket so i'm going to demonstrate it right now here so i have come to my aws uh, console here so here first thing I'm going to create is an S3 bucket. The region for my choice and preference is going to be AP South 1 which is Mumbai. So I'm going to create a bucket here and then we would come back to the functions uh, Lambda functions console for creating the counter corresponding counterpart. So let's go ahead uh, create a bucket. Uh, for example, let me give a name as AWS buck 100 and let's try to create the bucket now okay the name already exists i can't use this name so for example i need to add another number here and let's create the bucket so once the bucket is created here there are different parameters under under this sections you could you could see here there are different sections like properties uh, permissions metrics if you want to look and as well as the management part but the most important part in our case would be the properties here so i would go here there you can enable the bucket versioning in case any objects that you're uploading to your bucket there uh there has certain versions of the specific copy or the object type okay so for that you can enable it definitely and even you can uh, you, you can secure the specific uh, object with the help of mfa enablement so what i'm going to do is i will come down here and we have to create an event notification here but before creating it so there can be three types of targets that you can set here it can be an sns topic or an sqsq or an aws lambda function so first thing that i'm going to do now here is creation of a function so the region i have selected is mumbai here and let's create the function so i would be using an existing blueprint so i will click it here and here you could see my example has come uh, here uh, the example is already available here so these are by default uh, already coded functions you don't need to write any code you might need to make certain configuration changes as per your uh, requirement so I'm going to just search for it for your reference. So there are two things available with S3. So S3 gate object, this is specifically for Node.js applications, but uh, here I'm going to write the function in Python. So I would select this, click on this radio button and configure it. Okay, so here a name needs to be given here. So let me type a name S3 trigger func. So let uh, let's select an execution role here you can either select one or create one or uh, use an existing definitely an existing execution role so this sets of policies would be assumed by your uh, function in order to perform certain uh, operations that you specify okay so here if i come down i'm not going to add the s3 bucket as a trigger from here so because i'm going to show you from the corresponding uh, s3 bucket by creating the event notification but you can definitely create it so but i would avoid that so removing it and this is the piece of code that is available and i would be changing it according to my requirement so here let's create the function we'll wait for a couple of seconds and uh, here we have it our function has been created here 
and you could see the code here okay so certain changes that i would like to do because the when, whenever we are uh, whenever this guess s3 get object uh, uh, code is executed here this specific function so what it would this specific method does is uh, it, it it would definitely bring a response here and from the response they would be uh, i would be extracting the body part here so from the print if i can remove this part and instead of the contain type let me try to print the body but since whatever i am going to upload is it's going to be in the form of stream so i need to add this minor read method here so that would basically help me to convert the uh, the corresponding stream to the uh, string uh, to the binary format and the corresponding string in in case we are going to print it here in the output and as an addition what i would do instead of returning any statements here i would remove this i would definitely try to print this event that my function is receiving by showing that to you and uh, here for my ease i will just try to print the response okay and let's deploy this and my function is ready now let's go to the corresponding s3 bucket here so quickly i'm going to create an event notification and uh, here say for example let's try to give the name as event one and here there are different types of events so any s3 events that's taking place where be it object removal restoration changes in acl or tagging or even creation you can set a specific trigger uh, uh, and it would be reaching that specific uh, event would go to your target correspondingly and uh, this target is here marked by the destination and as mentioned three options are available for you so here i'm going to select uh, object creation one because i'm going to put an object into my bucket to notice the whether my function got triggered or not and here from the drop down list let me select the s3 function trigger let's save the changes and if you scroll down further here you would notice that this is the event notification that got added great now i will try to perform a put object operation how by simply uploading a file over here so from my tool so from my local environment local tool so i'm going to upload a file named dummy.txt and let's upload it and see whether our function gets triggered or not okay so here it got up uploaded here and let's see whether our function got triggered or not and it can be seen in the monitor section and view logs in cloudwatch let's open the cloudwatch console So we are waiting for certain logs and let's see what all other things that are available here. So I would like to view this as a text. So you could see here the received event is the specific uh, one that starts with the records. So S3 is going to send a bunch of records to uh, it, it's basically a list of records to the specific Lambda function that we have configured and the event name can also be confirmed from here this object created and we have, we have performed a put operation okay and if you scroll down here so till this much the event we have printed but we are getting an access denied so that means we have to provide certain permission privileges to our uh, s3 bucket so that our function can easily get hold of the object so let's go to the s3 console again so here i would come to the permission section here for for a while i would be removing this uh block all public access i'm unchecking this that means it's allowing all public access and i have to confirm it to make it public okay and here i need to add a bucket policy here so let's add a bucket policy and the action here you can add is s3 get object and the resource that we are going to select is 
any objects which is inside our bucket so this would solve the purpose and in the principal section we can add specifically the service as our lambda service but for ease uh, let's try to give it as a star so we are allowing all principles so it's we are basically using a wildcard here you can additionally uh, look out check out for this policy examples as well as use policy generators to generate your policy if I come down here and let's save the changes and now my policy is available the bucket policy is available so I'm going to allow the s3 get object operation actions to take place on the resources that is inside my bucket now I am going to block all the public access so that nobody can uh, it's not publicly available okay let's confirm it save it and I would again re-upload my file okay and let's upload it uploading is done and anytime now my fun I should expect another invocation from my function of my function so let's reload this and let's wait for a while or it can be available within this lock stream if the function containers get reused so here yeah it has come so at this point of time it's 1650 and at 1650 itself it evens and uh, this is the response metadata that talks about uh, while well, it, it basically performs the get object operation so it's I'm printing the entire response it contains the details of the response and also the contain type along with the body and the body as I mentioned in the code if you could see here I since the, ob the object type here you could see it's uh, the streaming body object and uh, in the function I have taken care of that by performing a dot read method call here just after the body so it's going to read that and it's going to convert it into the corresponding binary and uh, it's, it gets printed here uh, the binary string it seems uh, where's the log yeah and this is the hello world from sap that's the content of my file okay and uh, this is all about the function that actually basically it, ra it ran with a 163 milliseconds duration and I'm charged build for 164 milliseconds with memory size of 120 megabytes so I believe that's all uh, for this specific demo I understand that uh, there can be certain questions from your end uh, that regarding this use case that how it can be utilized so for example you have a larger image and you want to create a smaller thumbnail so this specific use case would really come handy at that point of time uh, if whenever an object or any event that's taking place in your bucket your corresponding uh, function gets triggered or uh, even uh, uh, an SNS can you, you can you can uh, publish the event to an SNS or the topic as well and perform whatever utilities you want to do you can create a large fan out op application as well with the help of lambda SNS and SQS further so I, I believe that's all uh, from my end and I hope you really liked it uh, please share and subscribe and impart the knowledge that you're further receiving that's all from me thank you and uh, thanks for watching